everyone, my name is Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be going over some of the new releases from Bodycology, as well as a couple of scents that they re-released for the spring and summertime. So I actually have all of the scents here with me. It's not very often that I actually pick up all of the new releases from a brand, especially Bodycology. Sometimes there's ones that just don't appeal to me. But for once, I actually was really excited about all of the different scents, so I did pick them all up. So I will be able to kind of go over them with you guys. Um, I have not worn any of them on my body yet. I've just kind of, you know, sprayed them in the cap, smelled out of the bottle, stuff like that. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. All right, so the first of the new releases is Wildflowers, and this is the one that actually surprised me the most. I didn't think I would like it because I'm not really a floral person, but it has notes of bluebells and fresh wildflowers. So definitely a very floral scent. Again, I'm not a big floral person, so it actually took me a really long time to want to pick it up, but I don't know, something about it just interested me, so I did end up snagging it. And I don't know what it is. I don't know, obviously on here it says like bluebells and fresh wildflowers, but a lot of times the body ecology mists will have more notes to them. It just doesn't really like tell you. I would imagine there's more than just bluebells and wildflowers, but it has a similar vibe, not exactly the same, but similar to Picnic Breeze. Like, I think it's the freesia in there that I'm just obsessed with. I love Picnic Breeze, I love Gingham, which is what Picnic Breeze is supposed to be, but they've all got that freesia note to them, and this does have like a, a hint of that edge. So I don't know if that's just like a bluebell scent, or if it's a wildflower scent, or what it is, but I really, really like that. That's really, really nice. And it's not overwhelming. Like, it's not like headache inducing, I don't think I could, you know, go ham on this spray or anything because floral scents in general to me, like if I do choose to wear them, I do have to have a lighter hand or I do get a headache. Whereas with like gourmands or sweet scents or fruity scents or whatever, I don't get a headache or not as easily anyways, but florals can definitely be a little bit too much for me at times. But this is one I would go in with like a light hand, maybe pair it up with like, I don't know, with gingham or something like that. Pair it up with maybe a fruity scent, mix it up, play around, however you like to pair up your scents. I am very much new at scent layering. If I have a mist and the matching lotion and the matching body wash, I do the whole routine all matchy-matchy. I'm not big into like playing around with different scents and like creating my own scent and stuff like that, but I think that's really fun and something I would like to play around with. But I think because this is such like a basic floral that you could really use just about anything with it and it would be really really fun for that but i'm very excited definitely gonna play around with this a ton in the springtime especially if there's a scent that i think would be really nice just to like throw in a little bit of a floral edge this is definitely going to be what i'm going towards but yeah very very excited about this one a lot more excited than i thought it would be for sure and then the next new scent is Hawaiian Beach. And this one, I was so excited when I saw the name. Of course, it's got like little pineapples and coconuts and flowers and all that on it. So I thought it was just gonna be like this tropical, coconutty, pineapple-y, just really summery scent. And I was super, super excited. So that's why I ended up picking up both. But I bought all of these off of the Walmart website because my store did not have anything in stock yet other than the body wash that I'm going to show you guys in a sec, but they were all blind buys. I only had scent notes to go off of. There weren't even like reviews yet. So very, very much, I had no idea what I was getting into other than this says it has water lily and ocean breeze. Then if you go on the back of the body wash, it says coconut, pineapple, and Hawaiian flowers. So I was expecting like a coconut, pineapple, tropical kind of fun time. Very summery, that's what I was expecting, something very, very summery. 
and to be honest I don't get what I was hoping to get but again I've just smelled like out of the bottles this has a little bit of like a coconut pineapple edge but it's very very faint and I do get more of a floral note to it which is a bit disappointing but it's still one I'm gonna use and love in the summer like I do like body ecology body washes as I've mentioned time and time again I do love to use them for like bubble baths however in the summertime I'm really not gonna be taking baths because I don't want to be sitting in hot water on a hot day it's just not the same effect as like taking a hot shower and in the summertime, I'd rather shower. I feel cleaner that way. I'll take like an ice cold shower if it's a really, really hot day, but I don't wanna take an ice cold bath. That doesn't sound fun to me at all, but I will be using this as a body wash for sure. And the scent is nice. It's just not what I was hoping for. I wanted more tropical, less floral. And the mist, just from, I've like sprayed it once in the air and then like smelled the nozzle, it's really hard for me to get a read on it. So I definitely have to do like a little paper test for this one. Slightly more pineapple. Really don't get a coconut note, I don't, I don't think. But it really is floral with the tiniest hint of fruit. Not super tropical, not super like I'm vacationing on a beach or in Hawaii or whatever, like not what I wanted. Kind of bummed. Um, I think it'll be fun to throw with like coconut pineapple or um, even like um, golden mango lagoon or watermelon mojito or something like that, just to add a bit of a like playful floral edge to it, but it's still got a bit of that, like a tiny bit of a tropical edge. I think that could be really fun, but it's not one that I'm gonna be like, ooh, I get to wear Hawaiian beach today. You know, it's, it's, it's not it for me. And so the last of the new releases is the one I was definitely the most excited for. Um, just based off of the name, I wasn't into it, but then once I read the scent notes, you guys will see in a sec, it, it reminded me of Picnic Breeze. And I love that one. As you guys know, I finished it in my winter project Use It Up um, this past January and February. And I've been missing it ever since. I bought Gingham. I wanted to get Picnic Breeze again, but they just didn't have it in stock. And when they did have it in stock, it was like 13 or 14 bucks. And I'm not paying that for something that I could get for four bucks. But it is blue denim. And this one has notes of blue freesia and juicy clementines. And that is exactly what I get out of Picnic Breeze. Um, I think it's got those notes as well. Maybe something else in there. I wanna say there's like a berry note in Picnic Breeze that this does not claim to have, but it smells like Picnic Breeze. It's, it's blue like Picnic Breeze. I'm convinced they just repackaged it, gave it a fun new name. And I'm, I'm convinced it's the same exact thing. So I did end up actually picking up two mists. Um, but I was so excited when I got the notes for it and I got all the components of it because I was just so excited for this one. But on the body wash, it does say velvety magnolia petals with light tropical fruits and sweet vanilla. So there's that floral note, but also some fruitiness and that vanilla. I don't get a vanilla. I straight up do not get a vanilla from this. So I don't know what they're claiming is in here, but there's no vanilla, but it's so good. Oh my goodness, it is everything I wanted it to be. It is gingham, it is picnic breeze, it is blue denim. I am obsessed with this stuff already. I can't wait to go throw this in the shower and just start using it. I'm so excited. But obviously I got the body wash, I got the um, body cream, which I'm pretty sure will just have the same notes to it. Yeah, it says the same exact thing on the back. And then, like I said, I got two of the fragrance mists. This one I have, I've sprayed into the cap, I've sprayed into the air, I've not sprayed on myself yet. Um, again, I was kind of waiting to like make this video so I could give some first impressions, but also I've been working on my project Use It Up stuff, so I didn't want to go layering a whole bunch of scents to try and smell new scents, but layering them with other scents. Like right now I'm wearing Whipped Rose and Vanilla, and I don't think any of these new ones would go very well with that. I think it would be really hard to get a read on them. 
if I was wearing a, a scent just that potent or as potent as that one. I think that's, I don't know, that's just my thoughts that neither here nor there. And it is, it's Picnic Breeze. Oh my goodness. It makes me wish that I had Picnic Breeze with me so I could smell them exactly side by side because I'm sure there's probably like the teensiest bit of a difference, but just smelling it and trying to remember how Picnic Breeze smelled, they smell identical. So this is, this is what I wanted. I wanted a new Picnic Breeze. I missed my old bottle. I've got two of this one now. I'm happy. I could not say any, like, any better things about this. If you have Picnic Breeze and you're just kind of, you know, you're, you're okay with it, you probably don't want to grab this one because it's basically the same thing. But if you're obsessed with Picnic Breeze, then definitely go check out Blue Denim. It is the same thing. I'll say it again and again and again. It's the same thing. It smells just as good. And this one is, again, everything I hoped it would be. I'm in love with blue denim. I'm very, very excited about this one. So these next two scents are ones that they have released in the past. Um, I don't know if it was last year or just in the past before, but these are re-releases. They are not new. So if you were missing them, then I mean, obviously run to Walmart, they are back. But the first one is Watermelon Splash. And this one has notes of Juicy Melon and Fruit Medley. And this is one I actually have not owned before. I'm not the biggest watermelon scent person. Like, it's just it just doesn't appeal to me. I don't want to smell like this, usually. Um, I like Watermelon Mojito because it's got a bit of that, like, green edge to it that, I don't know, it just, it makes it different. It makes it less watery, if that makes sense. I don't know, I get it from all melon scents, like cucumber melons I can't do usually like watermelons, stuff like that. It's usually just not for me, but I was willing to give this one a go because I have been enjoying watermelon mojito. So I figured, you know, I'll try it again. I'll give it another go. It hasn't appealed to me in the past, but maybe it'll appeal to me now. Oof. I have a little tiny cut on my thumb. And so every time I spray these, it's like instant pain because it's just alcohol going straight into it. I mean, it smells like watermelons. It's nice. If you like a good watermelon scent, it's a good watermelon scent. Um, I think it would pair really well with the Tree Hut watermelon products or really any other watermelon stuff you have. I know Olay has like a watermelon body wash. Um, past that, I'm not really sure who else does watermelons, but it's a nice watermelon. It's one I'll use in the summer. Sorry, <laughs> loud traffic. I don't know what that was, but it was very loud and very obnoxious, but it's a watermelon scent. It smells like watermelons. If you like that, you're gonna like it. It's one I'll get some use out of. I'll layer it with things. I think that's how I'm going to enjoy it most is playing around and layering. So this will be a kind of a good tester for me. I think maybe throwing like a floral note. I don't know if a vanilla would work. I feel like that's weird. But if I could just find a way to like tropical or like gourmand or I don't know. It'll be fun to play around with. I don't see myself just like craving to wear this on its own, but not as much of a disappointment as Hawaiian Beach, but I kind of knew what I was getting into with this one. I just kind of wanted to test it out for myself. And so this last one is one I've been raving about for a while. I've been hoping that they're gonna bring it back. I feel like every spring focused video I've done so far this year has been talking about this one and how much I missed it and how much I want it back because I finished the lotion and I couldn't find another lotion for it and I had the mist and I was just missing it a lot. But it is Peach Sunrise. Oh my goodness, you guys, they brought it back. I'm so excited. So it's got notes of clementine, peach, and berry. But it really is just like the perfect juicy peach scent. Oh my goodness, you guys, I've just, I've been waiting for this. This is one I might have to, this is my bottle from last year, by the way, so I do know what it smells like, but I just, I, I like smelling it, so I figured I'd smell it again, but, oh my goodness, it's so good. It's a juicy peach. It's delicious. This is one, like I said, I've been waiting for them to bring it back because it's just the perfect peach scent. It's awesome for springtime, and now that I have, like, the lotion, too, I can really start playing around with that. 
um, and I've been building a peach routine. You guys have seen all the different little components. I got that native body wash. I got that tree hut scrub. I got the native deodorant. Like I got all the components. And so now I finally have the lotion to finish it up. I'm so excited. I, I missed this one once I finished it last year. Cause last year it was really before I started getting into body care. So I didn't really play around with Bath and Body Works a lot but I did go to Walmart and get some Bodycology stuff. And I had this one last year. I had this, Picnic Breeze and Strawberry Cheesecake. And those were like my summer scents. And I finished up this one like immediately. So I don't know why I never went back and got another one. Probably cause at that point I wasn't really like building a collection. I was just kind of trying to work through what I had, but I'm very excited to have it back now. This is again, one of my absolute favorites potentially my favorite body ecology. I don't know, this blue denim and picnic breeze might have to like duke it out at some point, but amazing scent. If you love peach scents, definitely go and grab this one. It's $4 at Walmart. Like you just, you can't beat that. But I'm so excited it's back. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.